So, the aim of this experiment is to design the digital FIR filter in order to remove the harmonics present in the distorted signal with the help of TMS 320 F28335 DSP kit. As we know, in most of the electrical engineering applications, it is essential to quantify the disturbances and try to remove these disturbances. So, in order to remove these disturbances, we need to use the filter. Generally, in India, the disturbances are nothing but the harmonics except fundamental frequency, which we used to consider it as a 50 hertz. Now, look at this signal. This signal consists of so many harmonics, including the fundamental frequency. So now, ultimately our aim will be to design the digital FIR filter in order to remove all these harmonics except fundamental frequency 50 Hz. So we need to design the digital FIR filter with the cutoff frequency 50 Hz roughly. So before designing the filter, first we would like to know what are the frequency components present in the given signal. For this, it is essential to apply the Fourier transform on this distorted signal. Before applying the Fourier transform, first we have to normalize the frequency that is 50 Hz and let us try to express it into radian per second as the band occupancy for the real time implementation is between 0 to pi. So the procedure for the frequency normalization is as that as we know omega that is uh, angular frequency we can express it into 2 pi f divided by fs where f is the fundamental frequency which is to be normalized and fs is the sampling frequency. So in our application as we know the f is equal to 50 hertz and uh, we can choose any sampling frequency let us say our sampling frequency for this per, uh, for this particular application is 1 kilohertz so if we we'll substitute these values into this ex expression that is omega is equal to 2 pi 50 divided by 1k which will be getting fundamental 50 hertz frequency is equal to 0.1 pi so ultimately we can say that our 50 hertz linear frequency corresponds to 0.1 pi or 0.314 now after the normalization of this frequency we will apply the Fourier transform onto this disturbed or noisy signal so if we will apply the Fourier transform onto this noisy signal onto this noisy signal, we will be getting this as a spectrum. This is nothing but the magnitude response of this uh, distorted signal. From this spectrum, we can observe that this signal consists of four frequency components. First is 0.314 which will uh, roughly approximately equal to 50 Hz. This is 0.9383 which is third harmonic. This is 1.576 which is fifth harmonic. and this is a frequency which is 2 point frequency this is at 2.205 which we can call it as a seventh harmonic so ultimately when we are trying to remove this all the frequencies we have to design our digital filter now let us say now let us look in brief what are the design of digital fir filter so Generally, the specifications for the general FIR filter can be expressed at SD of e raised to j omega, which is e raised to minus j omega n minus 1 divided by 2, which will be from minus omega 1 to plus omega 1. That we can call it as a cutoff frequency. So, this n minus 1 by 2 is called a center of symmetry, which will come when uh, this will come when we are shifting our infinite impulse response towards right side in order to make that system as a causal system where the phase whatever we will be getting is nothing but our linearized phase. So for our application our aim is to remove the harmonics except fundamental frequency that is 50 hertz so we can choose as a cutoff frequency 50 hertz so this is our normalized 50 hertz frequency which is 0.314 and we can have a design for any kind of length in this case suppose n is equal to 11 
So by substituting the specifications in our application, we can describe the FR filter as like this, which is SD of A raised to J omega is A raised to minus 5 J omega and omega has to be from minus 0.15, this is cutoff frequency to 0.15 and where phi is the uh, 5 is the uh, shift to make that system equal to causal system. Now in order to get uh, the filter coefficients, we have to apply the inverse discrete time Fourier transform onto the desired frequency response. So if we'll apply the inverse discrete time Fourier transform onto the specific onto the desired specification, we can write SD of omega is equal to this normalized factor integrate from minus omega 1 that is minus 0 0.1 pi to plus 1 point e raised to minus 5 j omega into e raised to j omega and d omega. So if we solve this, we will be getting HD of n is equal to sine of n minus 5 cutoff frequency divided by pi into n minus 5. In this, we'll, we have decided that our cutoff frequency has to be equal to 0.15. So, if we will vary the value of n, we will be getting the corresponding value of uh, filter coefficients. Again, one particular thing we have to observe, if we we'll put it n is equal to 5, in this case, what we will be getting? We will be getting 0 divided by 0, which is a generally undefined thing. So, in order to remove this problem, we have to use the else hospital rule when the value of n will be equal to 5. So, else hospital rule is a differentiation of numerator with respect to n and differentiator of denominator with respect to n. So, if we differentiate, we will be getting cos n minus 5, 0.1 pi into some, some constant value divided by pi. So, now if we we'll put it n is equal to 5 into the resultant cosine equation that will be getting cos 0, cos 0 is nothing but 1. So this undefined problem can be solved and if we substitute this, we will be getting the value at n is equal to 5 is 0 0.314. So if we we'll vary the value of index from 0 to 10, we will be getting this are the filtered, these are the required filter coefficients for the cutoff frequency 0.1 pi or 50 hertz you can say. Now, I would like to check its frequency response in order to ensure our specifications are not. So, if you will see, its frequency response will be getting in this way. We can observe that uh, the cutoff frequency will calculate will be getting 0 0.315, uh, 0 0.314, sorry. And after that, again, we are getting some ripples, which is not at all desirable for our particular application because if we we'll use the same filter. Uh, in the resultant uh, in the filtered signal we will be getting the scrambled frequency that is some part of harmonics we will be getting which we don't want so in order to remove this ripples we can use so many window uh, any window technique which are available in the literature so let us say uh, there are so many windowing techniques are available in the literature like Hamming window, Hanning window, Blackman window, Bartlett window and so on. In our application, let us use this Hamming window. So this Hamming window can be expressed at omega n is equal to 0.54 minus this cosine of 2 pi n divided by n minus 1 and n has to vary from 0 to 10 in our application. So if we we'll substitute all the values, we will be getting this filter coefficients and if we we'll take it the uh, Fourier transform onto this will be getting this as a magnitude response. So we can see in this top band we will be getting all the zero values. Now if we we'll multiply this coefficients with the desired thing, we are ultimately trying to remove the ripples which have been present in, in the stop band of the desired response. So if we we'll multiply the filter desired filter coefficients with our selected window function, we will be getting this filter coefficients and if we we'll take it the Fourier transform onto this, we will be getting this as a frequency response. So we can observe if we we'll take it the 0.707 of 1.6, we will be getting this as a cutoff frequency which is 0 0.3129 which is a, uh, we can consider approximately equal to 0 0.314. Now once we have, till now we have designed the digital FIR filter using Hamming window for the cutoff frequency 50 hertz and the length n is equal to 11. Now, whatever the filter we obtained, that 
we have to use it or we have to apply it on the distorted signal so for this we have to use the convolution as we know the convolution is used to obtain any linear time invariant system with the help of its impulse response so in our case impulse response is nothing but filter x of n is the original signal which uh, noisy signal which we have seen already so if x of n i will convolve with h of n this will be nothing but y of n we can say this is my y of n after applying our window technique so ultimately if we go it into fourier domain spectrum we will see that this signal consists of only one frequency component that is 0.314 which is exactly equal to 50 hertz so at we can say that we have removed all the harmonics except at 50 hertz frequency again one point to be noted here is that this resultant filter signal has been delayed by an amount of 5 this came due to the addition of linear phase during the design of digital fir filter